Oh my god, no way. Oh my gosh. Stay on there. <laughs> Stay on there. Spool me. <sighs> Tired yet? Nope. No, stay on there. No, 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 no. Stay on. No. No. Don't do that. Stay on there, buddy. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. I just want to grab your tail and get a picture of you. Because you are freaking the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh, you turd. No. Stay out of that stuff. 
Come here. Gotcha. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? Freaking spoonbill. Oh my god. I'm sorry, buddy. You are the coolest freaking fish I've ever seen. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Oh, bud, I gotta get you back there. No, that's a spoonbill. I'm gonna get him a drink quick, and then I'm gonna get some pictures with him. I gotta figure out how to, this guy's skin is so tough. Hey, I got another camera. Do you wanna help me out quick and get some footage of this guy? Let's get some close-ups of that guy. Just insane. Oh, it's going. Don't worry, I got it going. Just an insane fish. <laughs> oh. What a phenomenal fish. Yeah, please do. And then I'll just have you send it to me. Take a bunch. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they use to find the plankton and stuff to eat. Let's actually get you out here in the current more. Go buddy, go. Go buddy, go. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> so uh, yesterday caught um, probably, I don't know if you'd consider it the rarest fish in Iowa. I, I don't know. I mean, by the way that you have to catch them and with how many are, are left because there aren't as many as there once were in the wild um, there's a lot of overfishing that occurred in the past um, with paddlefish also known as spoonbills um, so yeah I, I don't know if it's the rarest fish super cool super uncommon fish to catch especially because uh, to clear some things up you, you have to snag them uh, to catch them they're filter feeders so what they do is they use that spoon bill, that, that big thing on their nose, like that swordfish appendage, uh, to kind of like use that to find and, and use electromagnetic signals to locate their prey and plankton and kind of just like take in, I don't, I don't know if you guys have ever seen like a whale shark eat or like a basking shark eat, but it's a very similar process. Uh, they're very prehistoric, they're very shark-like. So they take in the water, they filter the water, and filter the plankton out of the water and, and grow. I've heard they're good to eat, I don't really know. Um, one of my buddies did do a video on eating one of them. And I know depending on where you're at, the restrictions can be pretty limited. I also just didn't really feel like cleaning a fish, especially just one fish. Um, so I was just going to let him do his spawning thing and put him back. Um, yeah, just insane reflecting upon that it will probably be the only one i catch because i'm not going to go to a dam and, and do a bunch of snagging um to try and catch fish during the spring um and i'm probably not going to go on a snagging charter in in missouri to try and catch them at some point again super hard fighting fish could not believe it thing almost spooled me not that i was fishing with super heavy gear as targeting medium-sized wipers but super cool um, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope, hopefully my reaction kind of painted the picture of how incredible that fish really is and how just insane that catch was. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.